All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're back. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought the sound was fucking up. Uh, we got a letter here to inspect. Uh, nope, shit. Can I there we go. What? Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days, I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are, thankfully, no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Well, okay. Holy shit. Didn't expect to hear from her, especially, like, now. Especially that it's been so long. Um, where are we? We're right here, so we're gonna hit this. And then we'll ride up to see her. Mr. Trelawney! I cannot speak to you. Okay. Pearson? How you doing, Pearson? How you doing? We're falling apart here, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I know. We can still turn things around. All right, then. All right, off we go. Okay, fella. Come on, boy. Up this way. Hair Strauss. I'm uh. Hey, Jack. I'm. How you doing, Jack? Don't fight anymore this morning. How's it going? Micah said he'd take me fishing. Please don't go fishing with him. Uh, try not to speak to him, okay? Okay. I wish people would stop being mean. I feel you, buddy. But, uh, don't trust Micah. He's crazy. Yeah. Alright, off we go. Are you crossing the river? Yep. So we can hit it right here. Yeah. I didn't do anything. I swear I did it. I don't care what the story is, lady. You're going in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit. I'm stuck. She is. But I was no part of it. Think you're the first woman to use that. Okay. You ain't playing. No, ma'am, I am not. Please, 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 please break the lock. All right, get on out of here. I'll be out of the area soon. That 20 bucks ain't that much. Plus, I can pay it off when I get uh, into a less hostile area. Should be coming up soon on I think it was what John Wither Withers or something. Yeah. Straight 
ranger mission up ahead. Oh, it's pretty close. So we'll hit this and grab that and then head up to see Penelope Braithwaite. J. John Weathers. I'm assuming the carriage is him. <laughs> There we go. Hello, sir. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. It's him. It's too late. Form up. We shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. All right. Didn't think I'd be tangling with the military right about now. I'm gonna count that surprise, asshole. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, buddy. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about kindness. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, well. Come on now, boy. Let's get out of here before the military start trying to come after him again. And we're, nope, I didn't, didn't select it. And I don't want to be in the area when they come back. Actually closer than I thought. Throw it up. Oh my god. Hey! You there! Can you help? Can I help you? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. All right, I'll see what I can do. So 
see if I can find a horse over here. Yep. There he is. Slow up now. There he is. Come on, Mule. Easy, easy. easy Relax. Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. Easy there. Whoa. Take it easy there. Whoa. All right, boy. All right. Let's get you back to your friend. Come on, man. Let's get you back. Relax. I'm not about to hurt you. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? <laughs> I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Third person we've met with a Civil War injury. And the second one without a leg. Yep. We ain't far now. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. Look who I found. Got your horse and your leg. Found him. You're a good man, Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt. Fish? Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. All right. That was interesting. Oh, where's my horse? Come on, fella. Let's go, boy. Off we go. We got... We can... Oh wait a minute, can we we can just fast travel down there, right? Was that a fucking bear? Oh my god. Quickly out of here we go.
Uh, oh, I can go straight to the manor, actually. Ugh. I take it that's his cat. She is down here, just down the road. It's about two in the afternoon. She hiding out in one of the workers' cabins. Yep. Oh, there she is. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. All right, let's get her to the train station. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. Yeah. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Definitely. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? 
There he is. Oh, it's him. Okay. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Come on, then. Hello, Bo. You came! <laughs> you came! What last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Y'all are a bunch of... <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. <laughs> Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, sure. we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. How you doing, Alden? Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. All right, you son of a bitch. Back here without giving you a whipper. All right. We should have done this last time. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You'll go to. Oh, now there's only one here. Let's go, you big bastard. You got him. Quick, come up on the train. I'm coming, I'm coming. That is quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How to life? Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. Right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. How many goddamn cousins do you have? I knew you had some damn jewels. in the state, the amount of your cousins here. Stopped. Look, is that the driver? Ah, oh, shit. He's abandoning us. Old Todd, all right. I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Damn it, you did run. <laughs> Mind me to rob your trains, Mister. All right. Come on. 
There we go. train while running it. Swanson almost did. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until I arrive. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! All right, we got them out of here. Everything seems well. well. Didn't mean to do that, but. All right, so we're up near Strawberry and we need to head back over towards camp. Where is my horse? 
Oh, wait a minute. I can use this place to pay off the bounty. I'll be tending to you shortly. Liberty is worth every penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Thank you. Oh, Goodbye. Dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? Tuberculosis. Thanks. Where are you, buddy? Come here. Yeah. Alright, let us... In the wilderness. Okay, so I gotta get out of here a little bit. There we go. straight to camp, I guess. horse just fall over or something? The hell was that? Where's the pot? How you doing, uncle? He's a piece of shit, I know. Leave me be, Jack. Good evening to you, Mr. Morgan. Evening. to sleep until morning and I think it sent me back tonight <laughs> Sent me to noon. Arthur needs his rest. Okay. So we have something over here to pick up. And then we got Mrs. Downs as well. Hi, Reverend. Yes, Arthur. Have a seat. Glad you're here. Glad to see you've got your act together at last. I am trying. At least something good's come out of this. Be well. You too. Hey, Mary Beth. You okay, Arthur? Sit down. Please. Sure. <clears throat> I'm fine. You don't look fine. 
Well, I had some, uh, some bad news. Was it Mary? No. No, not exactly. That's me. I'm sick. Sick? Yeah. I might die. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Maybe you'll get better. I don't think so. Then... Then I'm sorry. Only the thing is... Since then... <clears throat> since then, I've started... Seeing things differently. I don't know. The whole world seems different somehow. How so? I can't explain it. Like... Like better, almost. That a good thing? I guess it is. Only sometimes I ain't doing the good thing. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. I guess. Only it ain't always clear what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the big stuff. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Oh. That was sweet. Hey, Reverend. Bit cold for that get up. See if we can get through a morning with no argument. I hope so. How are you feeling about everything? I am feeling that we are a family and you have all lost sight of that. I ain't lost sight of that. Yes, yes. Well, all right then. Susan? Someone smashed the box. Really? What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Well, I'm sorry. Hi, Pearson. Good morning to you. you right morning. morning, Arthur. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. I'm trying to work it out. All right. All right, Arthur. All right, off we go. It's depressing around here. Incredibly depressing. Do I? Yep, I do. All right. Off we go. Yep. You keep your eyes open, Bill. We should talk morning. Sure we do. Okay, none of that interaction <laughs> made any there. sense. Yeah, I've never intervened in any of those anyway. I'm just off to collect the dead. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Yeah, we'll earn it back. We always try to do good by people. Oh, 
hold on. Is there a road to get down? Oh no. Oh god! Hey, uh, can I help you? We're trying to mine coal here. You know where I can find Arthur Londonderry? Arthur Londonderry? I think you're gonna want to speak with the foreman. Head way down there towards the coal face. All right, thank you. Um, let me grab my weapons and let me heal him up a little bit. All right, boy. Question the foreman. Hello, sir. Arthur London there. Here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey. I ain't the godforsaken money lender. I mean, that really wasn't a laughing matter, though, you dick. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here and go question his wife. What am I stuck on? Just up the road. You there? This area is private. No one show kindness on a man with no sight. Wait, oh, he's up on top of the hill. I was going that way anyway. Help the blind. Earn your fortune. Hey, be earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Hello? Can I speak to you? Help a blind man. Take this. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Okay. You did not have to shit on my boots there, buddy. Relax. It's all right. And then we can ride back into town to talk to Mrs. Downs. Oh no! Jesus Christ! Okay. What? <laughs> You're a good boy. Yep. Can I, can I feed you? Shortcut through the wood. Oh, it's right up here, actually. Probably coming up behind the place, though. I 
This is London, Derry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I uh, just wanted to say the debt canceled. To uh, here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently, like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Come on, pal. <sighs> Let's go help Mrs. Downs and we'll go back to camp after. here somewhere. Hello. Can I buy a paper? Want to buy something? Or all of them? I'll take a paper, please. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Oh, that's her son. Right Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Uh, Mama can't leave. Uh, won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about moral. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. All right. Let's go make sure she's OK. Down the road towards Bullard's Rest. <laughs> Yeah, 
there's the horse. And there's the man. Been to jail, but it weren't my fault. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Hey. Listen, listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness, but... Don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's get you back. You two can get out of there. Time to go, boy. Yep. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> So you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Come on. Mama! Mama! <gasps> Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for... For pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Holy shit, man. It's been a... A rough and sad episode. Oh my god. Well, thank you very much for joining me. And when we return, we're gonna go talk to Strauss and probably meet up with Hamish again and then see what we can do with Sadie. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll be back in a moment.